there welcome to what i like to call grad school 101 this is a crash course purely based on my experiences on what i think you need to know about transitioning to grad school hi there my name is Bera Musili and i make college related content if that's your thing then don't forget to subscribe I recently started my master's degree here at the University of Cape Town. It's definitely been bittersweet and yet a rewarding journey. I absolutely love my master's degree so far. And of course, I've made a few mistakes. And these are the key mistakes I made that I wish to share with you guys so that you don't make the same mistakes. So without much further ado, let's get started. The first key point is the need for one to change their mindset. So there is a huge difference between how you used to do things back in undergraduates compared to how you're supposed to do things now that you are in graduate. And this is because, of course, there is a vast difference between knowledge and syllabus that are being offered in these two programs. And that's the need for one to transition and change their mindset as well for you to be able to adopt and move on effectively, basically. The second point is the need for one to be flexible and disciplined. And this is as well from the fact that in undergraduate you had a tailored fixed timetable that you were following, which is way different when you transition to master's degree as you have so much freedom to determine your own schedule, you know, to come up with your own timetable on when you feel you need to do things, basically. So it's important for you to be disciplined or you're literally going to end up doing absolutely nothing. And then the other thing I've learned is be open to failure and trusting the process. And, and the reason I'm saying this is because there is so much pressure when you join masters because, of course, the knowledge is so advanced and... The way of doing things as well is complicated and complex and all that. So it's okay for you to feel like you are making mistakes, you are falling behind, you are feeling confused or naive or lost. All those feelings are okay. It's just that you need to seek help if you need help. There's definitely always a supervisor around for you. So it's important for you to make use of him or her for them to be able to guide you in what you're supposed to be doing. And then the other thing is, as well as in trusting the process, I mean, don't feel like in such a rush to get everything done. At the end of the day, it's a gradual learning process. Then the other thing is, as well, on the supervisor bit. As much as the supervisor is kind of like a central system to your master's degree, it's just important for you to choose wisely your supervisor. And this is because you want to choose a supervisor who has time. Because a lot of supervisors are still like PhD students, they are professors, they are lecturers, so they have a busy schedule and it's so easy for them to forget that they are your supervisor. So it's important for you to choose a flexible supervisor who is willing to guide you through the journey, willing to give you their time, willing to, you know, just help you in general because <laughs> trust me if you get a supervisor who just doesn't show up at all then you just in pitch darkness you're so lost yet you have no one to guide you that's dangerous so make sure you make an effort to choose the right supervisor and of course the most obvious thing is you need to choose a master's degree that you actually love and you enjoy because at the end of the day you don't want to be stuck with something you absolutely hate or you absolutely don't have a passion or interest in. Because, as I said, you are the masters of your own master. Okay, you are the master of your own masters. So basically, you need to do something that makes you feel excited. Like, you just have the self-urge to drive yourself into doing your masters. Because if you choose a topic of research or a master's degree that you have absolutely no passion in, it can get very tiring and very, very annoying. I hope those tips have been helpful and I hope to add more, you know, to the list as I also 
get to learn more on my journey and i hope you guys liked this video without much talking don't forget to share like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next videos bye bye